Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my diabetic patient who has a large ulcer on her big toe. She had two surgeries due to an infection. I'll be using a new grafting material to heal the wound very quickly. Let's see how I can put that graft. Mm -hmm. You're itchy, it's itchy. Go to the, I take him to the emergency room because she has an infection. Yeah. She was, she's walking bare feet and she has a, a small incision, very small. Oh, and then it started opening up? The problem is she grab a scissor full of alcohol and, and remove the skin. Oh, really? And oh. this is how I stand the... Yeah. Does she feel this? Is she in no. pain? The she, no. No? Okay. She has neuropathy. Oh, she has neuropathy, huh? Yeah. So this wound, are we gonna... And she was better only she got COVID. Oh, really? Oh. And, and she got a horrible infection again. Oh, I see. So we, we need to clean the edges so that it, it bleeds well. And then we're gonna put a graft there. This is a amniotic uh, membrane graft. It, uh, amazing stuff that they came up with. And we're, we're gonna start this uh, today. This is our first treatment. And, and we're gonna see how this closes really quickly because it's amniotic, you know, baby amniotic fluid. Uh, they, uh, they reconstituted and made a graft out of it. So I'm gonna put on it and then, and then it's gonna regenerate all these new tissues. As you know, uh, baby amniotic sac has a lot of growth factors. So this is what we're gonna do. So I'm just cleaning it up really good. You gotta make it bleed really well and then she told me that her apartment was really hot and yes. because of that she sweated a lot and that's why it looks all kind of wet around it and it's kind of important to keep this area dry so she bleeds well though she bleeds really well so it's a good sign okay okay then then yes. hopefully we'll close yes. it as quickly as we can so we do this grafting every every uh, every week and then it gets smaller and smaller and hopefully it'll close really quickly so that's what we're hoping and to the Yeah. yeah, very good. It's bleeding really well. Yeah, very, very happy to see a good bleeding. So here's the, here's the amniotic graft that we're going to put on and we're going to anchor it so that it would be nice and tight in there to regenerate all the new tissues. Here's the, here's the graft. It's inside. This is a graft right here, as you can see. And then we put on top of this area. Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word amniotic graft in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm just gonna put as much as I can into that area so it's gonna grow new cells into it. Like that. And then we're gonna use this mesh. And then we're gonna anchor this. Like that. And then we're gonna use a strip to anchor that and protect the area. So this this is another layer that kind of protects it from anything getting into the area. We're gonna put a good bandage on top of it. So that it's gonna 
regenerate all the new tissue. I'm gonna wrap it up real quick and they can change the top layer if they want to. Like that. So we show you the progress of how this is doing next few weeks and hopefully it will all fill in nicely. It works quite well and very quickly because of the uh, uh, the amniotic graft has a lot of, you know, brand new cells that are um, will be coming up to the area to fill up the gap. So just wanted to show you how the new technology of wound, wound healing is happening these days. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, diabetic ulcers are very dangerous due to an infection. With this new powerful healing grafts, the ulcer can heal very quickly. Let's see how that happens. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.